popularity never meant so much. When the club runs a contest to see which profession will triumph, they gather some involuntary contestants, including an FBI a special agent, Mayan Luchek's sister, Tara. Gambling's always more fun when the stakes matter. Nothing could be higher than life or death. To save her sister, Megan must stop the contest by any means necessary, even if that means infiltrating it the hard way as a prisoner. Written by Julie C. Gilbert, narrated by Liz Brand, The Popularity Contest. Cyber League Crimes, Book One. Hello and welcome back for another audiobook review. This month we are doing a little tribute I'm calling Mini March. Basically, throughout this month, the audiobook reviews I have planned are all going to be short stories. These are audiobooks that take less than five hours to listen to. I, myself, I have several short stories available on Amazon. If I try to mainly do horror, short story horror, because I never really saw horror like in book form it doesn't have the same effect as watching a movie i don't find horror books scary at all like i said i'm a big fan of stephen king and it is actually one of my favorite novels but it never scared me no I mean the movies were never scary to me but were a little more unsettling than the books but I did enjoy the story of it the book is the best version of that story and I'm not going to get into a lot of details I've said it before on the channel what I think of it I have several reviews talking about the book the 90s miniseries and the new 2000s movies so let's just move on this is mini march welcome and if you want to check out some short stories these are some short stories i recommend to you to go and check out and see if you like them see what your thoughts are do we agree do we disagree that's the beauty of this world is we all have the chance to either agree or disagree on what we like or dislike. Now, I want to start by saying again that these are just my own opinions. And if you want to formulate your own opinion, then stop this review, go down to the bottom, click on the links below read the short story for yourself with that said let's jump right into the review so starting with the cover and title for this i'm going to have to give this three stars while the cover is not horrible it's, it's got a little too much. The title is a little wordy for this. Um, I think the, instead of Cyber League Crimes, I think it should have had some kind of ongoing title. 
you know, like, okay, the picture, to me, this looks almost like a copy of something from, like, CSI or NCSI or something like that, you know, it comes a little bit off like that. And there's just so much wording on the cover. Even if you discount the crime scene, do not cross bit. I mean, you got a tagline, who will live, who will die. You have the name of the book, popularity contest. Then you have under that, Cyber League Crimes, book one. Then you got the author's name. Then on the side, you got a really off-putting or odd big audio book narrated by Liz Brand. There's just a lot going on. So, I mean, to me, this looks like this looks like it belongs in the genre of maybe like those uh, Reader Digest uh, romance novels. I just feel like more could have been done with this. But as for the title, Popularity Contest, you know... That really saves it because, I mean, yes, that's what this, you know, book is about. Um, so, yeah, that's basically, I mean, all I have to cover with, you know, that. So let's just move right along then. Moving on to the writing. So for the writing, I'm going to have to give this four stars and because I'm taking a point off here I was considering taking a point off later but I'm giving this four stars here mainly because of the fact this story felt a little rushed like there was such good setup for such a good crime. And it just got resolved. Way too quickly. And. There were some things that were a little coincidental. But I'm going to get into that later. So. Like I said. The writing it just felt extremely rushed at times. And things just felt way too convenient but the writing itself for the most part was good except like I said it just felt rushed so moving on to the narration I'm giving the narration five stars the narrator was very crisp and clear and capable of definitely reading and at doing voices not the best voice work I've ever heard, but she did quite well, you know, so five stars for narration. Now moving into the story, and since I took a point off in the writing for the story being too short, I am going to admit I'm not taking that point off here, but I'm still giving this four stars. Yes, things were rushed. And there were certain things through the story, like I said, that just felt a little too convenient. That just felt a little... Uh, how, how do you phrase this? It just felt too easy. And the villain's plan, honestly, didn't make sense. Because it's, I'm trying not to spoil anything. But the story gets wrapped up 
And honestly, with the way it's wrapped up, it's like, okay, I can live if I don't read an, another one of these. Or, in my case, if I don't listen to the next audiobook, I'd be fine. I'm going to do the entire series. There's three of these books. I'm going to listen to them all. And I'm going to try not to repeat the same, you know, things through each one. Unless it's a really big problem. But like I said, you know, it's just the story wraps up. There's no real reason to continue on. The little bits that are left open aren't really like, oh, I'm dying to know what happens. The villain didn't really interest me to find out what they are going to do next. You know, the hero saves the day. I warned you at the beginning, the intro warns you that there's going to be spoilers, so. It's just everything gets wrapped up. And this is a short story. Now, granted, you want the hero to get, you know, save the day. But I honestly, when this book started, when the story began, I thought that this was going to go on. And one of the major things I thought, you know, from what I even what I read to you in the intro I thought by the end of this book, she would just be getting captured. Then we would pick up with her like a few days later where now she's working on a plan and she's working with someone else to try to escape her situation and still trying to save her sister. But because it was wrapped up and the story kind of ended... Like I said, you're not really like, oh man, I gotta know what happens next. You know, because, yeah, something obviously is going to happen, and it's gonna obviously have a tie to this book. It just doesn't seem like it's a part of this. It's just gonna have the same characters. Some of the same characters. I imagine that now that, you know, certain things have been resolved, that certain people will be a lot safer for the moment. So, like I said, four stars for the story. It started off really great. I really, really liked how it was going. It was very, it, it reminded me of like um, Squid Games meets Saw. That's what I was getting at out or I should say getting out of it was a squid games meets saw and this was probably conceived this entire idea was probably conceived before squid games became popular because this was written in 2020 so yeah so I wanted to see more of that I wanted to to know more about that. But when it got wrapped up. I'm like oh. I guess, I guess pff, we're not getting that. So now moving on to the characters. And for the characters. I'm going to give it five stars. Because I harped on the story much enough. And if I. You know. Harp on the characters too. I'll, I'll, I'll feel a little disingenuous. But. Basically, I mean, there is some decent mystery set up. Like I said before, since I already mentioned this, that's why I didn't take points here. But the bad guy started off very interesting. But then you quickly learn about him and you learn this connection between these two different characters. And if hopefully you can tell by the way I said different, I was using quotations but uh different characters that are the main villain and it's kind of like oh well okay that's just weird 
But there was still good characterization. I still did enjoy the characters that were introduced. I think a little of the, you know, what the characters are into is um, a little odd. And there is one little good mystery, like this relationship between the female FBI agent and the female assassin. You know, I'm here. I mean, if I was left with any questions, really, that's the only one is what is the deal with these two? How does, you know, how did this all begin between these two? This is the story I want to read. This is what I want to know about. I mean, everything else was basically resolved. So, I mean, I don't care about any of that now. I only care about these two characters. And I'm sort of, I was sort of getting a um, Killing Eve vibe from these two, even though they haven't met face to face, you know. And I'm talking about the TV show because the Killing Eve books, I plan to do a review of those one day. I've listened to all three or, yeah, I think there's only three. Uh, I listened to the three books and... It was so vastly different from the show, so. But yeah, this was generally a good book. I enjoyed listening to it. I For a short story, that only took me a little while to get through. I think it was a three-hour book. Audio book. I think it was a three-hour audio book, so it... It might have been a little longer. Not much. But uh, yeah, it was definitely enjoyable. It was a nice quick listen to. And if you are into um, police dramas, like I said earlier, NCSI or CSI or whatever it's called. I didn't watch that show. Sorry. (laughs) Uh, 24. This feels like it should be part of a show. Like... This book could be like three episodes. Maybe the other books will be like three more and three more. And then boom, you got a season. But let's move on to the rating. Or the final score. I'm skipping the extras because there's really no extras in this. And this is going to be mini March. So in mini March, we're going to just skip over extras and just go straight from characters to final score so the final score for popularity contest cyber league crimes book one is going to have to be a six out of ten. First off i haven't listened to very many books like this I haven't listened to very many crime dramas. Most of the books I've listened to have either some sort of sci-fi or fantasy element. If they are start off like, you know, The Outsider kind of starts off like a crime drama a little bit, but then it turns into a science fiction story. Spoiler for that too. But for a straight up like police drama type story which is what I took this as the I liked it you know I I mean it was something that I wouldn't hate to listen to again in fact I might want to listen to it again after completing the series just to go back and listen to all three books at once if there was time between like this and the second book I might want to re-listen to this to catch up before listening to the second book. But I actually have the second book, and I'm going to be reviewing that not next week, but probably the week after. So yeah, for the first book in this trilogy, I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. If you want to check it out, it is available on Amazon as an ebook or on Audible as an audiobook. 
it's not very much because it is so short. And that's the beauty thing about all the books I'm going to be reviewing in March, in mini March, is that if you gotta, if you want to spend a little bit of money, help us, a, help a uh, self-published author out. Really check out their work, see what they're all about. Start with something small, some small audiobook. See if see if you like those. Then move into their bigger stuff. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have not, please like, share the video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you're notified the second a new video goes up. I give away free movie codes. Free movie codes. Every time I hit a set of 10 new subscribers. So, one more time, like I said, subscribe, make sure to click that notification bell, and I will talk to you all next time.